Well, hello. It has been a long, long time since I've done a video. So I decided to go live this afternoon right after lunch and see if anybody will come on here and if you guys have any questions for me. Give it a little bit and see if anybody hops on here. Please feel free to write a comment box. I am just going to answer some questions here. I'm just sitting in my kitchen, just had lunch, and I thought I would hop on and see if any of y'all are there. Who's with me today? Come on, don't be shy. Don't be shy. If you have questions, hi, Caroline. Yay. If you guys have any questions, write them over in the chat. Anything that can be questions about recipes, um, whole foods, plant-based lifestyle, diabetes, um, anything. If you want to know what's going on with me, ask away. Caroline, what have you been up to? Okay, that's a really good question. Caroline asks, how long did it take you before your diabetes was under control? So for me, what happened was I started eating whole foods plant-based at the end of May of 2012, and I was pretty strict eating what I would consider like an engine two style diet. So no oil, um, whole foods, plant-based. I was having some pasta and tortillas and things like that that are more calorically dense, but they were a lot less calorically dense than the animal-based foods I was eating before. And so after about just under three, um, I started noticing that my blood sugar was dropping pretty low in the morning. And a couple of times it got in the 60s and I got a little worried about that. So I contacted my doctor's office on the second time it happened and the nurse said, you need to come on in. So I went in and the doctor said, it looks like you are eating consistently um, in a way that is actually becoming your medication. And so you will not need to be taking medication. I was taking, you know, he said, let's go ahead and try without. And if we have to, we can put you on a smaller dose. But if you keep doing what you're doing, I think you're going to be fine without it. So I'd say it was about three months, Caroline. Um, after I really started being just, I was very consistently staying whole foods, plant-based. Um, we maybe even ate out to, uh, out to dinner a couple of times during that time, but mostly we were cooking at home. I hope that answers your question. Hi guys, anybody who's here, I'm going to answer some questions. If you want to ask questions about recipes or um, anything, just whatever you want to answer, I'm available for a few minutes and I thought I would jump on here. Did you limit the amount of food you're eating? Um, no, but I would say that I was eating three meals a day. Um, my meals are pretty filling, so I wasn't counting calories or doing anything like that at the time. I was just changing the food. So I feel like for weight loss, um, 
just changing the food from an animal-based diet to a whole foods plant-based diet, I was just naturally losing weight because the calories were less. But in time, that didn't work so well for me because as I started to lose quite a bit of weight, then my caloric intake actually had to come down a little bit for me to continue losing. And I went through a lot of weight loss stalls um, as a result of that because, you know, my body really couldn't eat as many calories when I got, you know, lost my first 50 pounds, I couldn't eat as many calories and still, um, you know, continue to lose weight. It just wasn't possible for me. So I tracked a little bit just to see how much I was eating. I was probably letting in a lot you know, a lot more starches that were increasing my cal caloric intake and a lot more fat. Um, sometimes I was eating out and not knowing exactly how many calories. So just tracking helped me a little bit just to know, you know, how much I could eat and still continue to lose weight. And right now, kind of my sweet spot is about 12 to 1300 calories. And I know people who went to the UWL conference heard Dr. Neil Barnard speak. And one of the things he talked about is that in order to lose weight, you should decide what your goal weight is and then multiply that times 10. And that's how many calories probably you should take in a day in order to lose weight. So if your goal weight is 130, 1300 calories is a, a an amount that you should eat in order to continue losing weight week over week. And I know a lot of times I for me, it's about 12 to 1300 calories is my sweet spot. And if I go over that, I usually just maintain my weight. I don't lose anything. A lot of that has to do with age, I think, and, you know, hormones and metabolism and, you know, your specific circumstance. So, you know, in my case, I've had a hysterectomy. I have had eight abdominal surgeries. I have type 2 diabetes. I mean, I have a lot of stuff that is you know, very specific to me that can affect weight loss. You know, if you're not sleeping well, if you're not exercising, you know, there's things that can definitely affect that. So I hope that answered your question. If you guys have any questions, type them in. It's fun to be in my old spot here doing my video. It's been a while. It's been a long while. You guys like my wig? Woo! It's nice to have some hair. I usually don't wear this much hair. You know, I usually wear short hair, but um, occasionally, and the weather's gotten a little bit cooler here. Occasionally, I like to wear a longer wig. So, who else is here? I see some people here. Say hi. I'm finding that too. I have to eat about 1,000 to 1,200 calories to lose weight. You know, every person is different. And that's why I hate those charts. Like, you know, you should eat this much if you're this tall or whatever, you know, because everybody's circumstances are different. I think the best way, it thank you, is just to figure out where your sweet spot is by tracking your food for a couple of days and seeing, you know, when I eat this much, you know, and then what I try to do is, is, Try to go to the maximum amount you can eat and still continue losing weight because you want to be able to have plenty of food and still lose weight. So that, I think, is the, is the best way to figure that out. This wig is called Violet, and I love the color. It's called Vogue. It's a, such a fun wig. It's kind of... Kind of a lot of hair for me, for my little head, but <laughs> I like it. Yeah, sometimes you can under eat and then you do feel weak or you don't feel that well. Or you also, when you under eat, sometimes your body just kind of hangs on and says, hey, I'm not going to release any weight because, you know, you're not eating enough. And so it helps really to, um, to just get that right amount. And certainly, you know, eating good lower calorically dense foods and getting plenty of volume that helps too a lot. Thank you. Thank you. I like it too. I think the color is, is neat. It's actually neater. If you're out in the sun, it's, it's a lot more red, but it doesn't show that much in this video. I don't think so. Who else is here with us today?
Caroline, do you have any more questions for me? You guys aren't used to me being on here. I probably should put a note in Mrs. Plant community and say, I'm going to do a live video some particular time and then have everybody ask me questions and then um, I can answer them on here. That's probably, that probably make more sense. What's your favorite enchilada recipe? Okay, well, my favorite enchilada recipe, I actually had it for dinner last night, but I bought a sauce that was too spicy. My husband loved it, but it was too spicy for me. So what it is, is it's more of an enchilada casserole. I make a um, salsa verde cream sauce with a bottle of salsa verde, and you have to get one that meets your, like, um, your spiciness level. And this one was a little too spicy for me, but, um, usually I used to like the Taco Bell sauce. It was actually very clean, didn't have anything bad in it, but I couldn't find the green one. That's my favorite one. Cause it's really mild, but you mix it with a half a cup of, um, raw cashews and some water. No, actually I think just a little bit of water. You don't need that much. And you blend it up really well, super, super smooth and creamy. And then you put a little bit at the bottom of your 13 by nine, and then you use Ezekiel um, tortillas and you line the bottom with those, just a single um, line. And then I made a mixture of chopped mushrooms, like finely chopped mushrooms, frozen spinach, and um, use some plant pure nation enchilada or sorry, Mexican seasoning on that, cook that down. And then in my toaster oven, I took like two or three potatoes, chopped them into cubes, added some plant pure nation Mexican seasoning and, and roasted those for 15 minutes um, or 20 minutes on 450 degrees. And then I mix those together with the spinach and mushrooms and made a layer with that. So actually I use it for two layers. So half for one layer, then more, then a little bit of sauce, then more tortillas, then another layer, a little bit of sauce, more tortillas, and then sauce on the top. And then you put foil on the top and you bake it at 350 for about, you know, 30 to 45 minutes. And it is delicious. It's so good. And it has your greens in there and it's got, you know, it does have some nuts. So it has a half a cup of cashews, but it makes six to eight servings. So really you're not getting a ton of nuts in each serving, which is good. You're getting about, you know, I don't know, a couple of tablespoons, a table, and not even a couple of tablespoons, maybe one tablespoon each. So hi, Kathy. <gasps> I haven't. And I wasn't even tracking my own. Thank you so much for reminding me. Let me jot that down in my bullet journal. I am so, so sorry. Let me mark that down right now. So I need to make a September step counter. I will do that. Do you have a theme for me, Kathy? I will do whatever theme you tell me. So tell me what you think I should do for September. That's on my website, Caroline, but I did it a little bit more difficult than what I described to you. It's more like enchiladas where you roll it up, but you can just do it as a layered casserole. So it's on my website. It's called, um, I think it's called Spinach Potato Enchiladas with Salsa Verde Cream Sauce. So if you typed in Salsa Verde at the top um, search box, you'll find it. Oh, but Kathy, give me a theme. Give me some idea. What would be good for September? Let's think about it. September. What happens in September that we could do? I don't want to do back to school because that doesn't apply to everybody. What else could we do? Let's think of a good theme. Hmm. Last month. What did I do last month? Let me look at my... Look at my counter. Oh, last month I did watermelons. That was mine from last month. So I need to do another one. Falling leaves. I love it. Let's do that. Have you had those, Kathy? You like them? All right, we're going to do falling leaves. I love leaves. So that's perfect. Sorry, my table's a little jittery because I have actually a new kitchen 
dining set coming tomorrow. I'm very excited about it. So today I am on a card table. <laughs> okay, so that looks good. Who else is here? I see other people. Ooh, the color got weird, didn't it? I don't think there's anything I can do about that. Oh, well. Thank you, Kathy. I appreciate that. It does help to track, doesn't it? Right now we're tracking our no spending. Um, so we have a tracker for that as well. Yep. All right, guys, if you guys don't have any questions for me, I'll set something up where we ask some questions in advance. But it was awesome having you. And we will do another session really, really soon. You guys have a great day.